Hello, everybody. My name is Tiago Rajan, and I'm a network engineer with Arawai Networks. Today, we will walk through a procedure of uh, collecting logs on FreePass. To do so, first log into the Policy Manager console. And once you're logged in, navigate to Administration, Server Manager, Server Configuration. Once you're here, click on the Collect Logs button. And once you click on the Collect Logs button, you'll have a variety of checkboxes and uh, other fields that you can fill in. Right? So the first field, the output file name. You could enter a name for this log file if you'd like. Or I would best suggest leave it blank so that you have the system generator name that contains the date as well, so that you know when this log file was taken. Uh, talking about the checkboxes, so you have options to collect specific logs from ClearPass or all the logs. So this system logs, it contains logs about uh, certain core services within ClearPass, like uh, Postgres, HTTPD, Tomcat, etc. And is always good to have as a part of your log file. The next is logs from all policy manager services. So within ClearPass, you have a lot of services running and every service has its own purpose, like your policy manager service, ready service, async, NetD, and you never know which log file TAC might look into. So it's always, I would say it's, this is the most important checkbox and has to be enabled while collecting a log file. The next checkbox, you know, the capture network packets duration of dump is used to take a live packet capture from FairPass and may not be needed unless you are on a debugging session with TAC and TAC requests you to collect a packet capture along with a log file. So otherwise, just leave that unchecked. And then you have the diagnostic dumps from policy manager services. Uh, it's good to have this checked because uh, this, this will collect any core files that are generated for any service that crashed. So always have that checked. The next is uh, backup ClearPass configuration data. So if you have this checkbox checked before uh, ClearPass can start collecting the logs, it will collect a backup of the configuration data and add that to the log file. You can check this if TAC has requested for the backup along with the logs, otherwise you can leave that unchecked. And uh, logs from performance metrics contain details related to uh, your system monitoring. And it's good to have that checked as well. Now, once you've enabled these boxes that you need, you can specify a date range between which the log should be collected. So if you specify a date, say, uh, 1st to 10th, Clip has to collect the logs that were generated between that particular date range. Otherwise, you can just specify the number of dates, days until today. Right. So you can leave it to one or if you want to collect logs that were generated over the past few days, like the past two, three days, just enter that number here and then you can hit the start button. So let me just hit start. Now, as you can see, the log generation has been complete and I've been given an option to download the file. Let me hit the download file button. And as you can see, the log file has begun downloading at the bottom. That's all, folks. Thanks for watching.